Joseph and when I send it to you, and Isha can look at I hope you're doing well. This pre recorded video is entitled Why Does Wesley Muhammad Regularly Contradicts Farrakhan? For those who don't know, Dr. Wesley Muhammad and I kind of went back and forth a decade ago. And he public me, publicly challenged me to a debate, which I accepted. We spoke about it on the phone, and then he backed down. So back then, he was not yet a personal advisor to Farrakhan. Later on, he became one. Then I saw some while back that he was a student minister. and. Recently, I saw that he was uh, labeled as a minister, so he went, uh, kind of went up the ranks, you know, he's doing his thing within his uh, organization. I just want to show an excerpt from a video that he has uploaded on his own YouTube channel. And um, as I speak, it was uploaded four hours ago, as a matter of fact. It doesn't say here, but uh, I have the timestamp, so I don't want to move. But if you go on this channel, you will see that, well, I would upload it. So I, probably by the time uh, this video is uploaded, you will notice if you are curious that it was indeed uploaded uh, four hours ago. But you can see the date here, October 1st, 2022. All right. So that's the title of the video. Why were two men framed for killing Malcolm X? All right. So let me just play these few seconds. The government knowingly perpetuated a false narrative. Yes, sir. Why? Good question. <clears throat> <clears throat> the miscarriage of justice in this case involving the knowing perpetuation of a false narrative included the false claim that Malcolm X murder was carried out by the Nation of Islam upon the orders of its leader, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. This is central to That's right. the false narrative. That's right. Yes, sir. So you've heard it. The false narrative, the false claim that the murder of Malcolm X was, did he use the word orchestrated? I, I think he used the terms carried out by members of the Nation of Islam. Then he adds, upon the orders of Elijah Muhammad. And I think that's where the nuance lies. Now, what I'm going to do now is show you a video of Farrakhan himself saying that members of the Nation of Islam were involved in the murder of Malcolm X. Our zeal, our love and hatred, our ignorance was manipulated by powerful outside forces. And the result is that members of the Nation of Islam were involved in the assassination of Malcolm X. And the nation has taken the heat and carried the burden of the murder of Malcolm X. We cannot deny whatever our part was. That is true. But we must not let the real culprit get away hiding his hand and keep us fighting and killing one another. So you've heard it. Falcon himself 
said that even though he talked about the real culprit because there's usually something else to say something uh, something to add to the recipe you know so the meal has more flavor so i'm wondering what is Wesley Muhammad trying to say? Is he trying to say that members of the Nation of Islam kill Malcolm X, but he was not under the upon the orders of uh, Elijah Muhammad? Or is he trying to say that no members of the Nation of Islam uh, participated or killed Malcolm X? I'm curious. Now he has a <laughs> three book, uh, should I say trilogy? He has three books coming up. You know, he's really stretching it, you know. I mean, he could just release one book, but, you know, that's on him, you know. So I'm curious. We will find out. But that's one example of him contradicting Louis Farrakhan. It's safe to say that Louis Farrakhan knows better than Western Muhammad when it comes to the Nation of Islam's affairs. Now, another case where Western Muhammad has contradicted Farrakhan we're going back in memory lane right now. Let me share the video. Are you asking, uh, are there Caucasian registered uh, members of the Nation of Islam? Not the Nation of Islam that I'm a part of. That's right. We are now inclusive of all members of the human family, but it started with the black man of America and woman who are in the worst condition of human beings. So you have white American in your organization? Some, yes. We have Hispanics. We have Native Americans. We have some Asians now in the nation of Islam. I spoke to my leader, teacher in God, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. All right, you don't need to hear the rest. So that's the second example of uh, Wesley Muhammad contradicting Farrakhan. And the third example, for those who are not unaware, there's this uh, book entitled Black Arabia and the African Origin of Islam. Well, Wesley Muhammad argues that Prophet Muhammad and his family, and generally the Arabs of the seventh century, were black. But Prophet Muhammad and his family were jet black, not just black, not just brown, towny, but jet black. That was the argument in his uh, book. But what did Farrakhan say about, <laughs> just like Elijah Muhammad is on record saying that the Muhammad that was here 14 hundred years ago was a white man, you know. Then was some Muhammad tried to bug dance and do some linguistic gymnastic and linguistic acrobatics talking about, you know, there's something called literary liter, literary intent. What did the author mean? I don't know what he meant. You don't know what he meant, as if we don't speak English and we don't understand English. But if I'm not mistaken, that's in the theology of time. So it is in written form. If that is indeed the theology of time, it is in written form. And also we have the audio, you know, because it's available uh, online actually. But here, let's listen to what Farrakhan says about uh, Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad was a good man even before he received revelation. He was an honorable man of good character. The Quran said he had sublime morals. He was sympathetic, he was generous, he was faithful, he was forgiving, he was courageous, he was steadfast. Yeah. But he was a white man. Is that a problem? See, it's only a problem if goodness to you is measured by the color of a one person's skin. All right, you have the title at the bottom, so uh, it's actually on my channel. All right, it was uploaded three years ago. Um, so I gave you three examples of uh, Wesley Muhammad contradicting Louis Farrakhan, Dr. Wesley Muhammad, that is.
he has a PhD in Near Eastern Study or Islamic Studies, one of the two, you know. So I came across something. I was looking for the video uh, excerpt where Farrakhan stated that they have uh, white members in the Nation of Islam. And I thought it was on that one there. Hold on. Share screen. I thought it was on that one there. Dr. Wesley Muhammad PhD checked by Shaka Nugu Kemen. And it wasn't, but you see, this was uploaded 10 years ago, 12 years ago, August 28, 2010. It's currently on Ankakek's channel. And uh, <laughs> out of curiosity, I went down to, to see, you know, the comments. And this is what I found. We have Reg Mabry, who commented, Shaka Ndugu Kemet, you are the truth. Your dissection is brilliant, simply brilliant, you know, so, uh, and you can see it was eight years ago, you know, so some people are like that. They will make statements like this, and then one day you don't agree with them, and they will say, oh, he's irrelevant. <laughs> so I will use this as a thumbnail for this video. Okay, I'm planning to go live after this pre-recorded video. So if you are available, feel free, feel free to join us. I'm going to touch on another topic. Stay safe, stay healthy. And if I am allowed to buy the next channel, I will definitely holler back at your hotel. Now, for the record, for those who don't know, I'm giving medical nature classes. And here, that's the flyer. Okay? So... Those who are interested, feel free to holler at me. If you're not interested, it's cool. But I recommend everybody, I recommend that everybody who has not yet seen the video, Kemet and Ma'at, before Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, then watch it. It has about 300,000 views and really deserves to have a lot more. Um, I just want to let everyone know who's going to, who's, who's going to, uh, who's listening now and who's going to listen to this, uh, this uh, stream in the future. I just had a my first Meta Nature class by Brother Shaka today, and I've had other uh, Meta Nature lessons by other teachers, and I can tell you right now, the brother is the best in the game. He is, uh, that, that was one of the best classes I've ever had ever so if you're interested in learning the meta nature if you're interested in getting the basics of it brother shaka is an awesome teacher get with him and it's extremely affordable this brother is giving us his time and his skills and he's basically giving it away i mean I, you know i just consider it a donation you know what i'm saying so if anybody's interested in learning the meta nature get with this brother right here he's an awesome 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 teacher and i'll end with that Hotep Senu, Hena Senut. This is Julie, also known as Servant of Yah, and I'm currently taking the Medu Nature classes with Brother Shaka, and it has been an amazing experience. Only two lessons so far, and I feel like um, I've been taking the classes for months, just with the uh, how in depth he goes into the vocabulary words, um, the construction of the language, the grammar. Um, it's been immeasurable, um, the experience. And one thing that comes across hands down is his uh, extreme passion for teaching this to anyone who is willing to learn and has a, a, an interest in learning. So I highly suggest um, if you are interested, even a minimal interest, that uh, you subscribe to the classes with Brother Shaka, um, it's such a nominal amount for how much you get. Uh, I know like our last class was uh, over two and a half hours. It felt like two minutes, but because that's how, you know, involved you are in what he's teaching and how he teaches and how compassionate he is about what he teaches. Um, also with sharing materials free of charge, uh, no question, no doubt. Um, it's just what he does. He doesn't have to, but he does. 
And so I just wanted to give a short testimonial um, about the class and the effectiveness of the class. And uh, all of that is attested to uh, how studied Brother Shaka is. Uh, so I highly recommend anyone with a minimal interest that you do sign up for the Medrunetia class. Hotep. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, which is Ma'at Forever. Don't forget to watch the video entitled Kemet and Ma'at. Don't forget to share Kemet and Ma'at on my channel on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, or other social media that you use, email, text messages, you name it. Those who wish to donate can do so on paypal.me slash maatforever.